year ago if you told me I was going to be here outside Parliament holding images of aborted fetuses, I would have not believed you. Um, but the reality of it and the need for justice is so strong that that is why I've come out today uh, to seek justice and to expose the reality uh, to the public. I've been involved with the work for um, about three to four years now on and off, uh, just volunteering at different locations. And what I've just found about this awakening tour this year is just how much progress we've, we've made um, when it comes to educating the public about the humanity of the child. My name is Dave Brennan. For two years I was a maths teacher with the charity Teach First and since then I've been working full time for a church, mostly as an evangelist. God called me into the pro-life cause over a number of years, but for me it really came alive when I joined Abort 67 on the streets and for the first time I saw a method that worked. It made sense instantly and I threw myself in. Since then God's put a call on my heart to go full time in pro-life work. Uh, God willing, we'll start in January. We're believing and hoping for that. I find today really, really encouraging. Um, I was terrified beforehand. I was really nervous. I've followed you on Facebook for um, nearly a year. Um, I've read up a lot of pro-life arguments. Um, I've always been kind of passively pro-life, but it wasn't until a friend's experience with being pressured into an abortion that I really looked into it. Um, and this was my first time outside of just posting pro-life content on Facebook, actually taking an active role. My eyes got open to the reality of abortion when I basically saw some of the Abort 67 images a few years ago and I was absolutely shocked to realise that it wasn't just a clump of cells or a removal of pregnancy, it was actually a human being. It made me think I've got to do something to stop this because um, human rights are valuable and I couldn't think I was just sitting, sitting back and not doing anything to change things because basically people are being killed and I'd be doing nothing about it. My plans for Bristol moving forward would be to get people together and, and along with Bought 67, move forward and see what we can do in the city to keep spreading the word and make a change people's hearts and minds in relation to this issue. I didn't really know that much about abortion until quite recently, um, but when I started research and I saw the different way people approached it, different organisations, and something about Abort 67 stood out to me as they were doing something different and raising awareness in a way that made an impact. I'm very hopeful. Um, um, I think that abortion, um, we can end abortion in our lifetime, um, but it will be a process, it will be conversation by conversation, um, and the more people we have on board, the more likely it is that we're going to succeed sooner.